Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shanique Rose, also known as Intentional Planner. And my motto on this page is to mindfully budget, mindfully spend and mindfully save. Guys, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for the people, the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and feel free to comment <laughs> if you want to comment or if you have any advice for me regarding my budgeting and whatnot like definitely put them in the comments below and i would definitely take the time to respond so in today's video i am going to be breaking down my week three pay and i'm not gonna lie guys this week is super duper duper tight like oh it's super tight so let's just break it down so i'm just going to bring this closer to me so i'll be receiving a pay payment of 114 pounds and 45 pence i know it is tight this week my uh, manager just did not give me well last week my manager did not give me enough shifts so it kind of messed up with my plans of what I wanted to do this week. But we keep it moving. So this week I will be just focusing on my priorities, which is my four corners, which is transportation, food, uh, rent and like housing and stuff. So I am going to be prioritizing my rent, which is £50. Then travel for sure. And remember, my workplace is very close to me, so travel isn't as expensive as it has been in my previous jobs. So that's one of the perks. Um, my food, which is £25 this week. So like Dave Ramsey said, rice and beans, beans and rice. That <laughs> is literally what I'll be doing this week. And um my gas because in the uk it is so icy so cold i cannot take it anymore but the gas needs to be paid and um this week i'm going to put putting on 29 pounds and 45 pence towards gas so remaining is zero pounds so that is literally my budget this week and it's been super tight. However, this week I have done overtime. So it's going to look better for me next week. So this week I'm literally just surviving rice and beans, beans and rice. <laughs> and I'm okay with that because next week is going to be a better time for me for sure. So also I do want to have, I do want to update you guys, sorry, on my debt. So... I am still making the payments every month to my Barclays loan. So I'll just put B loan. And I have the remaining of £5,654.14. Now, this week, I mean, this month, sorry, I have put towards this debt £301. However, I still have £100 remaining to pay for this month so because i did overtime last week i mean because i've done overtime this week i'll be using 100 pound of that money to go towards my debt so next week that should go down to five thousand five hundred and fifty four pounds and 14 pence so that is amazing because it is taking a while to go down but it is going down that's the main thing and now there has been a change with my PayPal um, balance, there has been a slight increase. And when I say a slight increase, I mean like £300. And for some reason, certain payments of mine are going through my my PayPal, which is coming out of my credit and not out of my bank account, which is quite annoying. But it's fine. So my PayPal balance is now £730 and 28 pence um i spoke to you guys about partner if you don't know what partner is please check my week two my january week two budget because i've literally broke it down and explained what it is 
but next month i will be getting my hand my hand will be 700 pounds so i'm thinking to put that 700 pounds towards oh i'm trying to break my screen <laughs> so i am thinking to put that 700 towards my paypal and obviously add the additional so that is out of the way and that's one day out of the way however i've also had the thought of putting that 700 towards my b loan because that is a big loan but i'm trying to do the snowball effect which is paying off the smaller debt first um with the smallest interest and this paypal credit doesn't have any interest at all until four months and that fourth month will be may so i think it's best that i put that 700 pounds towards this and obviously i'll pay the additional 30 pounds and 28 pence to clear this debt so that i only have one debt to focus on and i'm also thinking to cancel my paypal credit because i even though it's handy um i don't want to be prioritizing using credit to make purchases i want to probably create a another cash envelope for that instead when i do have the money to pay for it so guys let me know what should i do should i pay off the paypal with my 700 pound which i'll be getting in january in february sorry or should i put it towards my b loan guys help me out <laughs> that would be amazing this is literally my breakdown and that is an update on what is happening with my debt moving forward i'm very happy i'm feeling very positive because i feel like i am going in a positive direction and i am making the right choices for me at the moment of time and yes i would love to hear your advice regarding the 700 pound where should it go b loan or paypal um guys this is it for this video if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up because it really helps my channel and i appreciate all my new subscribers a welcome 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 and we are going to continue to grow and continue to share knowledge on you know budgeting spending and saving so guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you all and i'll see you in my next one bye